What's going on, Flickcraft? Today I'm going to come back to a brand new video. My name is Creek, and a lot of you guys do ask me, Creekcraft, how do you live stream? How do I do what you do? You can see all around me, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. And a lot of you guys are wondering how I do crazy stuff like this. How do I How do I do that? Whoa, how do I do that while I'm streaming? That's insane. Or how do I do that? Well, look, it's me. I'm up there. That's cool. You can see my entire setup. That's awesome. How do I do that? Or how do I play a sound like this? Or how do I play a sound like this? <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Be sure to watch until the end so you learn everything and uh, let's go ahead and let's hop into this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download a program called OBS Studio. A lot of you guys probably already know what it is. If you don't, that's fine. Just go on over to obsproject.com or just Google OBS. I'll also have a link to it down in the description and just download it for whatever operating system you have. I have Windows, so I'm gonna click Windows. It's gonna go ahead and download and I'm gonna assume you guys know how to install the program. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and do that. So go ahead and install OBS and when it's done installing you're going to open it up and it's going to look a lot like this it may ask you if you want to run the auto configuration wizard or the auto settings you can go ahead and do that it's fine we're going to be changing them anyway so it doesn't matter but go ahead and open it up and if at any point you need to rewind this video or pause it you guys can feel free to do that too uh, no problem at all I'm also in Roblox here I'm just going to be using this as an example game to show how to do all this stuff so you know this works with any game Call of Duty uh, Roblox, anything. You want to play StarCraft, that works too, anything. All right, so once you open up OBS, it's going to look a lot like this little window here. And there's a few things we need to do before we get into anything. And that is we need to go to File, and we need to go to Settings, because we have a lot of settings to mess with. Now, the general settings here, they don't really matter. There's a lot here, and you can play around with it if you want to, but they don't really matter. We're not really worried about it. We're just going to go on over to the Stream Settings. Now, whenever you're streaming to YouTube, which is what I do, and that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do here, you want to go to stream and you want to select service and you want to choose YouTube slash YouTube gaming. There you go. So then going to ask you what server you want to stream to, primary or backup. Uh, I suggest using the primary. If for some reason your stream lags out and disconnects, you can, you know, switch it over to backup, but just use the primary. It works fine. Now I ask you for your stream key. Now, what is a stream key? So a stream key is basically the, the key, kind of like a password that lets OBS stream on your YouTube channel. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get this, but be sure to not show it to anyone. Okay. Because if they get it, then they can stream on your channel. So what you want to do is you want to go on over to your live dashboard right here i'll have a link to this also in the description or you can just google youtube stream key and the link will be there as well now if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you can see right here okay it has the server url don't worry about that and then the stream key what you're going to do you're going to click reveal and then you're going to copy this all right and you're going to paste it in here and then you're going to click apply now obviously i'm not going to do that because i don't want to show off my stream key because i don't want anyone else streaming on my account but that's how you do it it's very simple once you get it in here go ahead and click apply and let's move on to output now output has two modes there's simple and there's advanced mode now for the sake of streaming we're just going to stick with simple because it doesn't really need to be advanced we don't really need any of that now this is actually pretty simple okay video bit rate what is the video bit rate so your bit rate is basically how many bits are going into your stream the bigger the number the clearer it's going to look the less pixelated it's going to look the more crisp it's going to look and the lower it is then the more pixelated it's going to be and the less crisp it's going to be obviously though the higher the bit rate is the you know better internet you have to have to stream and you know the more resources your computer needs to have in order to stream so you got to have a balance there so how do you find your bitrate let me show you guys how to do that so what you want to do is you want to go on over to this website right here speedtest.net again i'll have a link to this down in the description okay and what you're going to do you're going to click go on this website and it's going to measure your internet speed there's also going to be some black bars on the screen here because i don't want you guys to see my ip address but you know go ahead and click go and as you can see it's going to measure your internet speed and all of that and it's going to put up some numbers and that's what we need now i have gigabit internet so i have really really good internet most people probably are not going to have speeds like this but that's okay i'm going to show you guys how to do it anyway i'm also going to bring up notepad for this because it's a little bit easier to do it this way so what you want to do is take your max upload speed so whatever your upload speed was it's this number right here on the right whatever this number is here you want to write that down in notepad so since most people probably aren't going to have 940 we're, we're going to go ahead i'm just going to say my upload speed is 20 okay we're just going to say it's 20 obviously yours is going to be different but just for the sake of this i'm going to say it's 20 and now what you want to do is you want to divide that number all right by four okay divide that number by four so that means one fourth okay of of my max upload speed would be five 
all right and 75 percent of it or three fourths of it would be 15 because you know five times three 15. basically we want to find 75 percent of our max upload speed so 75 percent of 20 is 15. if your upload speed was 10 then 75 percent would be you know 7.5 if it was 100, then it would be 75. You basically want to find 75% of your max upload speed. For me, that's 15. Uh, 15. That, that's what it would be. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because this number right here, your 75%, that is your max bit rate, okay? Do not go over 75%. In my case, that would be 15. And the reason why we don't go over that is because obviously your internet speeds fluctuate throughout the day. Mine are a little bit faster in the mornings, same with a lot of other people's, and they might be a little bit slower at nighttime. So what you want to do is leave a little bit of wiggle room just in case it fluctuates. Now, just because your internet speed or 75% of your upload speed is is 15 all right that doesn't mean we want to go ahead and type in 15,000 okay D don't do that okay what we want to do now is go on over to the YouTube live encoder page I'll also have this link in the description and you want to scroll down to whatever you want to stream at now if your upload speed is below 10 you want to be streaming at 720p if it is above 10 you can stream at 1080p okay but below 10 720 above 10 1080 now for each one here it's, it basically says what to stream at so if you're going to be streaming at 720 you should stream at 2250 to 6000 or if you're streaming at 1080 you want to stream at 4500 to 9000 okay so since you know 75 percent is 15 all right as we got here 15 is you know bigger than nine so we can stream at 9,000 here. That's what we can do. So let's go ahead and we're just going to put 9,000 in here because we can roll with that. Now, let's say that my bit rate was, I don't know, 10. All right. Uh, and that was 75%. Actually, you know what? let's say my actual, okay, hold on. Let's redo this real quick. So let's say my max upload speed was 10. All right. 75% of 10 is 7.5 or, you know, in this case, it'd be 7,500. Okay. So that would mean that I would have to stream at 7,500 here maximum. So that means I would take the 7,500 and I would put it in here. Now, if your upload speed was say five, okay? 75% of five is I think like 3.5, which would be 3,500. So 3,500, obviously we would wanna be streaming at 720p. So we would, we would pop this right in here and we would go 3,500, okay? It just all depends on your internet. Just for the sake of this though, I'm gonna go ahead and just put 9,000 again, put whatever your number is that we just you know we just came up with now encoder okay encoder this is important now some of you guys might have different options here me i have x264 qsv and nvenc now x264 uses your cpu to encode your live stream meaning that this option will be the laggiest it takes the best computer to run qsv uses the uh the gpu that is on your cpu to encode the live stream it, this is kind of like the in-between option. It doesn't take as good of a computer, but it still takes a kind of good computer. And then NVENC, if you have this, this is the best one. This uses your graphics card to encode, which means that basically it's not going to lag your computer at all. So if you have NVENC, use that. If you don't have NVENC, use QSV. If you don't have either of those, then obviously you have to use X264. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna use X264, okay? Audio bitrate doesn't matter, and the stuff down here doesn't matter because we're not recording, we're streaming. So we're just gonna click apply, and bada bing bada boom there it is now when it comes to audio the only thing you want to really mess with here is your desktop audio make sure it's on default and then your microphone you want to select whatever microphone you're going to be using again for me it's just default so if you want to you know put in a microphone here that that's basically where you can do that right here in audio now the last settings we're going to mess with here that is the video okay the base resolution so obviously my computer has a base resolution i'm using a 1440p monitor okay so that that's going to be my base resolution resolution here but I'm not streaming at that resolution okay so like we determined we have a what did we set for our our bit rate we said um let's see 9,000 okay so let's go on over here 9,000 is 9,000 is 1080 okay 4,500 to 9,000 is 1080 2250 to 6,000 is 720 okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to video and we're gonna make sure that this says 1080 under scaled resolution, 1080, 1920 by 1080, okay? If you're doing 720, you're gonna choose 1280 by 720, okay? That's how you're gonna do that. Now, like I said, I'm just gonna choose 1080. Downscale filter, we're just gonna leave that on length zones, which is the best. And the FPS, we're gonna leave on 60. Now, if it is lagging or if it doesn't look good or maybe your internet is really, really bad, 
and your computer is really, really bad, what I'd recommend doing is changing the resolution to 720 and changing the FPS to 30. Okay, that's basically the bare minimum there. Okay, so if your computer, if you do all this and your computer is lagging and it's just not working well, turn all that all the way down and then go on over to your bitrate and put that to the minimum. Okay, what's the minimum for 720? The minimum for 720 here is 2250. Okay, so we're just going to put that at 2250. Okay, so if you are lagging and your computer can't handle it, do that. That's the absolute minimum. Okay, again, though, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, one, you know, 1080 because that's what we're, we're uh, rolling with here. So there we go. Click apply and that's it. You're done with the settings. Let's go back on over here and let's start the actual next part. Okay, so this next part is actually pretty simple. At first, you want to get the game on the screen. So we're going to go to add here. All right, right click add and we're going to choose a game capture. Okay, and I'm just going to call this Roblox because that's what we're playing i'm gonna click okay and then we're just going to go to mode we're gonna capture a specific window and we're gonna click on window and we're gonna choose roblox we're gonna click okay and then boom there it is there is roblox obviously we can move it around if we want to put it over here i'm just gonna leave it you know right there and boom there we go we can see the we can see the game so now if i were to click start streaming it would stream this right here to my youtube channel but you can't see me how do we get me so let's go to add Let's go to video capture device. All right, I'm gonna call this face cam. All right, go ahead and click OK. And then I'm just gonna choose my webcam. And there it is. All right, click OK. And boom, there, there I am right there. I can make myself really big if I want to, or I can make myself kind of small. Just put myself in the corner. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to do a green screen because I get this question a lot. All right, obviously on this side, there's no green screen. On this side, there is a green screen. So what you want to do if you have a green screen, you're going to right click you're going to go to filters. All right. And then right here in effect filters, you're going to right click and you're going to add a chroma key. All right. And you're going to click. OK, doesn't really matter what it's named and it's going to automatically go ahead and it's going to chroma key out the green. And as you can see, the green screen is that's it. I, you can see the game behind me. OK. And then over here, there's no green screen. So obviously, there's no game behind me here, but you know, green screen's gone and there is the game. So that's how you do that. I'm just going to go ahead and disable that for right now, though, simply because I don't have the green screen on this side and it looks a little bit weird. But there we go. So I'm just, that's how you do that. And then, now you guys know I'm just going to scale this down, move it up here and boom, there we go. All right, perfect. Now, I can't go through how to do everything uh, like, you know, text and, and alerts and images. But what you can do is you can go ahead and you can add in different stuff. So if you want to add an image to it, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to call this meme and I'm going to add a meme image to it. So I'm just going to go on over to my downloads. I'm going to grab a funny picture. We'll grab baby Yoda. All right, there we go. Click OK. And now baby Yoda is on the screen. And now I can put baby Yoda over here in the corner if I want to. It's that simple. Or maybe I want to put text on the screen. All right, we're just going to add a text. All right, I'm just going to call this subscribe. All right, there we go. And uh, I can mess around with this here on the text. I'm just going to write subscribe like that. Uh, I think I spelled it wrong, but you know what? That's fine. We're going to change the font. Let's just uh, let's go with um, let's see what's a good font. We'll go with that font right there. And obviously you can go down here, mess around with it. You can change the color if you want to. There's a lot of settings here and it's not going to be possible for me to go over everything. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of, you know, just playing around with it, seeing what everything does on your end um you know obviously you're gonna have to go through and just play around with it see see what happens here's the text thing here we can you know make it bigger if we want to make it smaller if we want to and that that's pretty much how you do the text so we could put we could put that right under baby yoda there and boom there you go now baby yoda saying subscribe like i said there's a lot of stuff in here that i can't go through everything otherwise this video would be like five hours long okay but there's a lot of stuff in here that you can mess around with it and play around with it and that's what i recommend doing just going in playing around with it and seeing what works for you now if you want to have like a main game screen like this is here okay what you can do is you can actually make different scenes all right so we can make a new scene here so we're just gonna we're just gonna right click and we're gonna add a new scene and we're gonna call it scene two so now whenever I click in between these scenes, as you can see, it goes in between them. So that's basically how I do all the editing there. I'll show an easier way to do it here in a bit, but I could have this scene maybe be a giant picture of let's add another meme here. Let's let's put a, another picture. We'll put the FTC guy in here. OK, all right. So this whole scene is just going to be this. That's that's the scene. OK, that's it. So now when I go back, boom, hi, how you guys doing? Guess what stream? We're going to go. Oh, look, there's his face. 
just like that and boom we're back hey guys we're back and boom there's <laughs> there's a space again oh boom we're back it's it, that's how you do it now when it comes to subscriber alerts and donation alerts and all that i i'm, I'm not going to be able to go through and show you guys how to do all that because again this would be like a 10 hour long video but there's two different basically programs you can use we have streamlabs and we have stream elements i personally use stream elements i think they're great but if you want to use streamlabs to do that and set that up with you guys can do that it's all free and this is how you're going to do your sub alerts your donation alerts all of that what i recommend doing is picking one of these and then looking up tutorials on it and videos on how to do this uh, i'll have links to both of these down in the description as well stream elements or stream labs is how you're going to set up your donation alerts now they're not required you don't have to have alerts on the screen you can just go live like it is now you can do that that's fine but if you want to make your screen on screen uh, fancy and stuff like that and have cool alerts and donation alerts this is how you're going to do it stream elements or stream labs all right i'll have links to those down in the description now when you want to go live all you gotta do push the start streaming button and you will be live it's that simple but real quick i do want to take you through and show you how i you know change between scenes and do all this fancy stuff like this you know and make cool little, little sound effects like this How, how, do, how do I do that? Now, for this, I'm going to take you on over to my cell phone here just so I can show you guys, uh, you know, the behind the scenes. So, okay, I'm on my cell phone here. Hi, guys. What's going on? You can see uh, up there, there's, you know, me and all that. And here's my other monitor. So, how do I, you know, make myself do all these cool effects? Like, how do I do that? How do I do this? You know, how do I switch on over to here? Or how do I, you know, put this on the screen very simply without having to click into everything? And that's actually where the sponsor for today's video comes in. And that is Elgato. Now, Elgato is a company that makes a bunch of streaming products like the Stream Deck. Here's a small one. Here's a big one and a variety of other stuff. They also make this giant green screen here, which is very fancy because whenever I'm done streaming, I can just lower it down and boom, there we go. Put it away just like that. And then whenever I want to stream, all I got to do is bring it right back on up just like this and boom, there we go. It's ready to go. Now, like I said, Ogano makes a lot of products. We have this right here, how the stream deck works is I just push one of these buttons and it changes the scene. So if I sit down here and I push, uh, let's say this button right here, I'm gonna push this button, watch what happens. Boom, there we go. Or maybe I push this button right here. Boom, there we go, it switches scenes. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, we're gonna push that, go back to there. Maybe if I push one of these buttons, it'll play a sound effect. So let's do, uh, let's do Shrek farting, okay? Here is Shrek farting, okay? I'm gonna push this button and listen. I'm gonna push this button. I'm gonna push this button. And Ogano also makes a bunch of other products like this right here, which is a cam link, which is actually how I get my camera over here to my computer. How it works is you plug your camera or your HDMI cable right into this, and then you plug this into your computer and boom, there you go. That's how you get the camera to your computer. So if you wanna use a professional camera, you can do that. You just get one of these, you know, plug it in there and then just pop it in your computer and boom, there you go. It's that simple. And obviously today is Black Friday and I'll actually have a link. So if you want to get some Elgato products like, you know, the stream deck or the cam link or the green screen behind me, you guys can do that. All right. I'll have a link to that down in the description. Now I've used Elgato products for five years. They just recently started sponsoring me and they're great. They're amazing. And it's how I do all the cool, fancy stuff like, like this. It's just, it's great. I love it. It's awesome. I literally have like one of everything of their stuff but I, I pretty much bought it all myself and yeah i love it so if you want to be able to do all the cool stuff like this on stream definitely recommend checking out all the elgato products i'll have links to those down in the description and as well today is black friday so you know good good way to get some cheap elgato product but yeah that's basically how you live stream on youtube obviously there's a lot of advanced stuff here this is just kind of the basics but obviously you can mix and match play around with it and you know you can get some cool stuff like this obviously this up here is stream uh stream elements this down here is just a custom image i made and Pretty much everything here is just, you know, messing around with the stuff I showed you guys how to do. So I'll have links to download everything down in the description. Definitely go check out all of this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And now you guys know how I live stream. If you guys did, you know, find this useful, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Use star code real creep when buying your Robux, your premium or anything like that. It helps me out.
And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try and answer any questions you guys have down in the comment section below if you guys do have any questions. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, happy streaming, guys. Bye.